When I received the invitation, I decided to come without any hesitation. It was a meeting at the Security Council, which is the primary organ for the maintenance of the international peace and security and the issue of Syria, which has been seriously threatening both regional and global peace and security for a long time. The meeting seemed very significant because it was organized by the Security Council after the absence of a required action and determination to put an end to the brutality and bloodshed in Syria for the past 18 months. I was encouraged particularly by the fact that the humanitarian dimension, which calls for an urgent action, would be on the agenda and become hopeful that the Council could finally act with one voice, taking long overdue steps, because it was a humanitarian issue. Apparently, I was wrong about my expectations. I understand that the Council today will not be able to put forward a unified position yet again to stop the humanitarian tragedy. This meeting will not end even with a presidential or press statement, let alone a robust resolution. Not even all members are represented in this meeting at the level of foreign ministers. While I regret the absence of some of my colleagues, I would like to believe that their non-participation is not an indication of their level of interest and concern in view of the developments of, in Syria.